Today we're going to be making a vegan lentil loaf with a maple balsamic glaze. This is a great recipe for the holidays or for any other time of the year when you just want to add something to your weekly rotation that's perfect for leftovers or lunch boxes. To start off with, we're going to preheat the oven to 355 Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and then line a loaf tin with some unbleached parchment paper. Now you want to try and use unbleached because the other ones use plastic in them and they're also bleached. So always try and find an unbleached variety. So we're putting the pan on to medium heat and adding two tablespoons of olive oil. Now we finally dice an onion. Now we add that to the frying pan. And then we just finally chop the carrot. So I typically just buy juicing carrots just because they're cheaper and they are not really any different to normal carrots anyway. So they do sometimes look a little bit imperfect, but you just clean that up and you can add those parts to any broth later on when you're making it. So just pop them in the freezer for when you're ready. And then just saute the onions for a couple of minutes before you add in the carrot and celery. Now with the celery, just chop off the leaves so you've got the two stalks. So both the celery and the carrot should equal about one cup each. Now with the celery, save these and you can add them to a broth as you did with the, as I mentioned, that you can with the carrots as well. So now we just add in the carrots and the celery. and give that a good stir. Want that all to nicely soften as well. And we'll get onto the, the pepper, which we in Australia call capsicum. So I notice a lot of people chop their, their peppers this way and go around the base, but I actually prefer to do it like this. So I cut it in half and then I split it open. And then from there, you just remove the center and any seeds, like that. And then you can do thin slices from there. So we're just also gonna chop this quite fine. And that'll equal about three quarter cups. So just about half a large pepper. So now we're just going to add in the peppers and just saute that now for about seven to ten minutes until they're nice and soft but they're still holding their shape so we don't want them to go limp and soggy. Look at those colours. So we're just gonna make a flax egg. So since we're not using eggs in this recipe and it's vegan, we're just gonna do two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. So you can do either brown or golden. I've got golden ground flax seeds here. Now it's important once they're ground to leave them, pop them in the fridge and use them quite quickly because they do go rancid. So don't buy pre-ground flax seeds, try and grind them yourself at home. If you can, you can do that with a, uh, a blender or you can do it in your little coffee grinder as well. So to this, we're going to add then six tablespoons of water. And then we just give it a really good stir and make sure that there's no lumps left inside and leave it for a couple of minutes. And this is then going to create a nice slurry, which is going to be used in the lentil loaf instead of eggs. So it will act as a binder. So we've just put the mushrooms into our food processor and we're just gonna pulse them quickly just to, to break them down a little bit instead of cutting them first. Then we add half a cup of cooked brown lentils. Then we add another half cup of sunflower seeds. 
one cup of walnuts. And then we pulse it until it's all well combined and you've got smaller chunks. I'll show you in a minute. So this is the consistency that you want the mix. When the flax egg is ready, this is what it should look like. Nice and gooey. Now you won't taste this once it's baked. If anything, it'll just add a slight nutty flavor to it. So to a large bowl, we add in the sauteed vegetables, the mixed mushrooms and nuts and seeds, the other half of the cooked brown lentils, a handful of herbs. So here I've just got some fresh parsley, coriander, which is also known as cilantro, and some rosemary. So just a handful of that chopped fine. Then we're just gonna add in the flax egg, three quarter cup of buckwheat flour. Now for some added flavor, you can also add in some smoked paprika, but that's optional. Two tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of tamari or soy sauce. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Now add one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of freshly cracked pepper. Just mix the ingredients until it's all well combined. So we're just gonna transfer this mixture now to our pre-lined baking tin. So we're just gonna make sure that we pack it in nice and compact so that there's no holes. So we just smooth it out over the top so that it's nice and even. So the loaf is already smelling really good. So now we're just going to make the balsamic maple glaze that's got like this nice, thick, shiny consistency to it just to brush over the top. So two tablespoons of tomato paste. Got one and a half tablespoons of tamari or you can use soy sauce instead if you don't have tamari on hand. Half a tablespoon of maple syrup, half a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're just gonna give that a good stir to mix it in really well. So now we're just gonna pop it over the top. We're just gonna spread the glaze evenly over the loaf. So now we're just gonna pop it in the oven to bake for 45 minutes. Remove the loaf from the oven and let it rest for 30 minutes. The loaf has this meaty texture from the mushrooms, walnuts and lentils. Beautiful colors from the vegetables and it's all brought together with the sweetened, salty maple balsamic glaze. So some great side dishes for this recipe are a green salad, beautiful thick sourdough bread and potatoes which you can do either as a mash or a creamy rich potato gratin which we have a recipe for on our website. So you can find this recipe over at theminimalistvegan.com and we'll also link it in the description below for you. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. Happy cooking. Remove the cake. It's not a cake. <laughs> You. Where's my you? Thanks for tuning into this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Ow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>